him. I think of him just sitting at the head of the table and being the head of the family. I think about when he took us out water skiing. And I think mostly about the fact that he's always still here. You know, it's strange actually to talk about memories of him because because of you, Anneli, because you tell stories about him and talk about him all the time, I feel that he's always really here, and that's something that means a lot to me. So, happy 100th birthday to him, and um, thank you for always keeping his memory alive. Hi, Grandma. Of the few qualities that I got from Grandpa, the one that stands out the most this week while I'm packing for my return to the Northern Hemisphere is definitely my tendency to hoard. I've been working on it, and here I'm trying to minimize what I think that I need in order to take with me back. Uh, but just as he would say, I don't want to talk about it. Another thing I got for, from Grandpa is uh, my love for sports. And as you can see here, I still have his old tennis racket. Which I'm looking forward to see you soon. Love you. Bye such a person who would make sure that everybody was taken care of in his own firm and loving way. And um, I owe my love of the water still to Aaron and the fearlessness that I feel. He made me feel like I could do anything. I could keep up with the rest of them. And um, he taught me to water ski and now I um, wakeboard and Whenever I get out on the water, which is not enough, I think about him and I'm grateful that he was in my life and that we had the opportunity to learn from him and to love him. Practice, so. practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. This is what I remember. This is one of the things I remember from Grandpa. It helped me pass water skiing. This is the, I, one of the things I, I can take from my life from him. Hard work and uh, perfectionism. My recollection is every morning when I would get up in the morning, I would come into the kitchen and there, before you even noticed that I was there, I saw that when you entered the kitchen, Aaron picked you up and he spun you around and he held you and gave you a kiss. And that memory is always stuck in my mind. I sometimes dream about it. When I think about Grandpa Aaron, I think about a kind and generous man who was very quiet, but when he had something to say, it was usually important and often profound. He made it to everything that was important to us as kids, whether it was one of David's soccer games or a theater or chorus performance. He and Grandma always made every effort to be there for us. He would greet us with a big bear hug, and in return, I would pat him on the back. Um, Grandpa was an amazing grandfather and someone who um, I loved very much and miss very much. Happy birthday. My, uh, my memories of Aaron, uh, probably the one that jumps out the most, is, uh, is we would go, my, my parents, my brother, sister, and I, would go to the Jersey Shore, and, uh, and Aaron taught us how to water ski. Uh, we would go there during the summer, and, uh, and really, without Aaron, we never would have learned. Um, but it wasn't just that he did that. It, it was so kind of him to spend all the time that he did taking us out all day long. Uh, and Aaron was somebody who wasn't effusive with, uh, with his love or praise, but you knew it was there. Uh, and he was such a terrific person who I admired so much and respected so much. Uh, and he was strong and silent and somebody you knew you could rely upon and, uh, and felt very, very safe and, and I trusted him so much. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, the words he chose were, were words that were, uh, that were important. Uh, and what I remember most about Grandpa, I guess like most people, is how he was a man of few words. And also how when you'd ask him a question, he'd usually start out the answer with, well, like giving me the impression that he gave everything he said a lot of thought. And I try to be that way myself. I try to choose my words carefully and really give a lot of thought to what people are asking me and what people are saying to me. I also remember how while he always gave uh, the impression that he was a strong person, he was always gentle with us, like the times that he would take us down to the basement and, uh, or actually the garage and sit us on the tall stool. And he was always very gentle cutting our toenails. Uh, and that's a memory that always makes me happy and uh, remind me how much I loved him.
watching him turn to my grandmother and say, and being the only person in the world who could successfully say, Ellie, stop. And actually getting the reaction out of it that you expected. Um, Grandpa was so much more to me than just my grandfather. Uh, he was one of my closest friends. He was uh, a father figure, you know. Not that my father wasn't, but Grandpa was like a second father to me. Um, and we were just unbelievably close. And I love him unbelievably, and I think about him all the time still. Grandpa cared so much about everyone. Uh, he loved everyone. And I wish I could have spent more time with him so I could have gotten a bit of his patience as well. <laughs> um, but just know that I love him. I emulate him. And uh, yeah, I love you too, Grandma. Very well. One time they came to Holland to see the country. Ellie prepared a very good list of excellent restaurants. So one night we went to Bali, Indonesian restaurant. We studied the menu and then grandpa closed it and he called the waiter and then he ordered everything. We were very satisfied, full, and we enjoyed dinner. Grandpa continued and he cleaned all the dishes until he was finished. But uh, some of the strongest and most beautiful memories I have of Aaron was as a quiet um, but competent and caring and loving man. I mean, he taught us so many things growing up, all the times we spent with you. Of course, water skiing, being out on your lake, being in, in, your, ha in your house, and just seeing the beauty between the two of you, the way you cooperated and cared and loved each other. Um, I really remember those things deeply and it left a super positive impression upon me over many years. Uh, I miss him very much and I'm so happy that you both have been a, an important part of my life. Um, thank you very much to both of you and I love you very, very much. Talk to you soon.